Isaiah chapter 1 and 16. Wash you, make you clean. Put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes. Yeah, this we just washed ourselves. Made ourselves clean. Put away those evils. No more. No more shall we dabble in those things, brothers and sisters. Okay? Cease to do evil. Cease to do evil. Stop. This ain't just like those other churches and you could just say, Father, forgive me and go do what you want to do again. No, it says cease. Put an end to it. Stop. I'm not dealing with this anymore. I choose righteousness. You know, do you, you want to bring this mess to me? No. You want to start that murmuring? No. Stay away from me. You want to start this? Stay away from me. Cease. Leave it alone. Read. Right? Learn to do well. Learn to do well. How to operate righteously now in every aspect of our lives. Learn to do well. What else? Seek judgment. Seek judgment because that's how you're going to learn what's right and what's wrong. Seek judgment. Am I doing this the right way, Elder? Bishop. Hebrew officer. Am I doing this the right way? Is this pleasing to the Father? I think I'm doing well, but am I? See, this is all for that change, for that renewal. See? Relieve the oppressed. Relieve the oppressed. So now when you learn to do well, when people come to you that's oppressed, oppressed what? Oppressed by sin. Still a slave to sin. So to relieve them, now you have learned to do well. You done seek the righteous judgment. Now you can do what? You can relieve the oppressed. I was in that situation too. I made it through too. I was born again and you can too. I was I, I, I trust in the Father now. You can too. Let your lives be living examples. Amen. Judge the fatherless. Judge the fatherless. What does that mean? There's going to be people out there. What's the father? The father has that authority. It's brothers and sisters out here that doesn't have a righteous authority in their lives. So now you can tell them, nah, little brother, nah, little sister. No, sister, no, brother. We don't supposed to operate like that. Put some clothes on. You're a queen. Put your pants up. You're a king. Tell them what comes with that. Because much is given, much is what? Required. So if he gave us that grace and that mercy, he requires the best out of us now. Plead for the widow. Plead for the widow. The widow is who? That sister, that, that mother that doesn't have that covering, that head, that of male authority. Help that sister out because now we've seen it. All these times, what they're going to do, they're going to go after who, those who they consider weak. Come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Mm -hmm. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. And that's why we ask everybody to put on white, to be a similitude of now. This is how your garment is. This is how the Father is looking at you. Don't you know that every time you sin, you get a little stain in your garment? And that's how he would know he would see. That beacon of light that you are him a little bit, a little bit, and a little bit more every time that you sin. Right now, this white. anywhere to go so they're trying to get back to you you have to keep them out that's that enjoy though they be red like crimson they shall be as wool mm -hmm. if you be willing and obedient what if you be willing and obedient because remember there's no sacrifice for willful sin so if you out there willfully sinning you just did this thing you just got wet we're doing this for a change. So it said, if you be willing, read. You shall eat the good of the land. You shall eat the good of the land. We see this land is being spoiled. So don't we want to eat the goods of it? Right. Go ahead. But if you refuse and rebel. But if you refuse and rebel. You shall be devoured with the sword. You shall be devoured with what? You know what the sword is. I ain't talking about some cop body coming out with Excalibur coming to slice you. Nah. 
You should be devouring with what? With the sword, with the word, with the weapons of destruction that's coming. You will be devouring. All right? So what I'm right now, I have this oil in my hand. What we do is we're going to anoint you all. And then after you just now coming up out of the water, that the most high keep you. Oil. It's a pleasant smell, isn't it? But you know that every time that we did, that we did we did offerings and we gave things to the most high, it was a sweet smelling savor to him. So when you all are coming up out of the water now with this with, 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 with that sweet smell, just remember the father saying, The father's pleased, the angels are rejoicing that you all chose life and not chose death. We chose now welcome brothers and sisters to the body of Christ. You have family, you have like-minded people that'll help lead, that'll help guide, that'll help make sure that you have all the things that you need all the way to the kingdom. Family, let's all approach the throne together. Most gracious and heavenly Father Ahia, in the name of our Lord and Savior Yeshua and the Holy Spirit, we humbly come before you as a body, Father Haya, thanking you for your grace and your mercy. Thanking you, Father Haya, for the presence of the Holy Spirit. Thanking you for your son. We thank you, Yeshaya, for your sacrifice. We ask you, Father Haya, to continue to bless and protect and to watch over them, Father Haya, as they have chosen you this day, Father. Let the heavens record, Father, that they have chosen you, Father. Strengthen them, protect them, mold them so they can be exactly what you want them to be. Lead them to the way that you want them to go, Father Hyatt, to be an asset to the kingdom, to the body of Christ, Father Hyatt. Let this mind be in them, Father Hyatt, as within you, that was within your son, that was in our forefathers and our foremothers, Father Hyatt, to do well, to continue to do well, to endure to the end, to see these things that's happening, to see the prophecies that's happening, and understand that these are warning signs to make sure that we continue to get it right and to stay under their heads of protection. Continue to lead us. Continue to guide us. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua, we say, Amen. Amen. What we're going to do is the Hebrew credo. What we're going to say is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. We're going to say that in the ancient Phoenician Hebrew, which was our original language. All right? So just when we so we won't be a barbarian to people, we understand and let them know we're not speaking in tongues like you hear the church. We're speaking the ancient Phoenician Hebrew tongue, which is the actual language of the Israelites. All right. Hebrew language, Israelite, the nationality. Now, our God is not the God of this world and the God of all of these worlds. We understand that all the Lord, our God is one. Huh? So let's scream it to the heavens and say. Shema ya sha Allah ahaya Allah ahaya nawa ahaya okay Shema ya sha Allah ahaya Allah ahaya nawa ahaya God Shema ya sha Allah ahaya Allah ahaya nawa ahaya okay Shema ya sha Allah ahaya Allah ahaya nawa ahaya God Shema ya sha Allah ahaya Allah ahaya nawa ahaya okay Shema ya sha Allah ahaya Allah ahaya nawa ahaya God Hail Israel Hail Israel Hail Israel Hail Israel Most high power it's one. Quah!